For a recent project, I made this amazing waffle chart in Excel. In this video, let's understand how we can create such a cool looking chart for your dashboards or upcoming board meetings. Let's go. Here is my waffle chart. It shows the chocolate weights per thousand bars for five of our chocolates. And as you can clearly see, white chocolate has the lowest weight. If I want to adjust any of these numbers, I can just unhide these rows and change the number. So for example, from 255, I'm going to change this to 400. And then you'll see that that's the full box width. If I put it up to 350, that's how big my waffle is going to be. To make this chart, I'm using some very cool features of Excel. So let's recreate this from scratch. I'll show you how to make one and then you can kind of easily copy paste the logic to get all the five. So we'll add a blank worksheet. Let's just assume some sort of a number that you want to visualize. So we'll just say almond choco and then 350 here. The next step is we want to create a grid of cells which will then be filled up up to 350 to show the size of that waffle. So for the purpose that I have used here, the maximum weight that I can have is 400 LB. So I went with a 20 by 20 grid. If you have got more values, then you may want to consider a higher grid size or change the value of parcel within your waffle. So we will select 20 columns and then I'm going to make them slightly small. For now, we will leave them big enough so that we can actually see the numbers. Later on, we will shrink them even further. And then here is my 20 by 20 grid. For the sake of simplicity, I'm just going to print borders in this. So we know that this is where our waffle is going to sit. Next up, imagine if I can write the numbers 1, 2, 3 like that up to 400 and then highlight the numbers only if they are less than or equal to 350, then we would have generated a waffle. So this is where I use the sequence function to do all of the work for us. So we can use sequence. And then if I say, give me a sequence of 20 rows, 20 columns, you'll see that Excel would have generated all the 400 numbers. Some of these numbers are too big to fit in the cell. So I'm just going to adjust something. And then you can see that all the numbers from 1 to 400 are listed here. So given that this cell has 350, we'll print yellow color there. And if I select all of this, and for example, I'll apply a conditional format highlight less than, and then just say less than 350, you'll see that it would have highlighted all the values up to 349. Uh, we can just adjust the rule later on to highlight up to 350. While this is good, this is kind of like the inverse waffle because it is starting from the top. So what we could then do is instead of using sequence like this, if I sort this so that one goes all the way at the bottom and then 381 on the top, 382 at the top, then our waffle would be in the correct way. So this is where I can use the sort function and then just sort it by the first column in the descending order. This will basically flip the array so that all the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 to 20 is here, 21 to 40, 41 to 60 like that, and then 381 to 480 will be, 400 will be here. So now this is filled up up to 349, not 350. So this is the basic technique that I used. The next step is to make the correct conditional formatting rule. So I'm going to select this, clear the rules, and then add a new rule through a formula. So use a formula and then the formula would be is the B5 cell, my top left cell of the conditional formatting and we'll make that a relative reference. So B5 less than or equal to the value in this cell. If so, I want to format it with a nice fill color like that so that it will highlight all the values up to 350. Everything is dynamic, so if our waffle size needs to be 250, you'll see that it instantly shrinks down. And if it is up to 400, then it will go all the way there. While this is good, we don't want to see the numbers either. So once this bit is done, you can select all of these cells, press Ctrl-1 to open the format box and change the format from general to custom and 
type the code semicolon 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 this is how you can kind of disappear the values from cells the values will be still there but they will not show up on the screen so now you just have cells that are getting highlighted as much as that number is at this point you can just adjust your row heights and column widths to make your waffle look nice and crisp the next thing is we would like to also show a box on the top that tells me what that value is that way i don't need to have them visible here i can hide that column there so this is where i used a text box this is really simple we can just go to insert and then from shape pick the text box and then draw a nice big text box here and instead of typing the value yourself select the text box click on the formula bar and then say equal to and then point to the cell whatever that cell is that's what this text box will show me you can adjust the sizing and everything for this and if you remove the shape fill or shape outline for this you will have a box that shows the value of the waffle as well with a little bit of formatting you will get nice looking waffle charts like this in excel i hope you enjoyed that waffle chart if you are looking for a little bit more charting inspiration to spice up your excel dashboards or reports check out my playlist on charting that is shown on the screen i'll catch you there bye bye